Wisdom. It's an incredibly valuable asset. Some would say more precious than gold. It's attractive, appealing, admirable. Conversely, a lack of wisdom is the basis of immaturity, blind spots, and bad decisions. Wisdom. It can be gained over time, but it can't be rushed. But wisdom can be shared. That's precisely what we are here to do right now. Today, we are here to hack wisdom, to distill it, to understand it, and to process it. Why? To get better at life. Welcome to The Main Thing. This is your new nine-minute podcast. I'm your host, Skip Lineberg, and I've set out to interview the wisest people I know. We'll see what we can learn from each one when they're faced with an incredibly difficult, soul-piercing question. Welcome back to the Main Thing Podcast. I'm your host, Skip Lineberg, that guy that brings you nine-minute doses of wisdom in podcast packages. I'm coming to you today from Parkwood Studios. Here's a special warm welcome to our subscribers. Those of you who get their nine-minute doses of wisdom delivered directly to their favorite podcast player like Apple, Spotify, Audible, and many others. And an extra special shout-out of gratitude to our patrons. Those of you who support this show in a monetary way, thank you. Thank you for helping to keep this pipeline of wisdom flowing. We couldn't do it without you. Our special guest today brings an intriguing topic to our wisdom journey. I know we're all going to learn some new perspectives over the next nine minutes. I'm so excited. Ryan Frederick is an international expert on the role of place to live a long, healthy, and financially secure life. As founder and CEO of Smart Living 360, Ryan advises national real estate developers, institutional investment firms, leading health systems, among others. His first book, Right Place, Right Time, The Ultimate Guide to Choosing a Home for the Second Half of Life, published by Johns Hopkins University Press, was released in October and has been an Amazon bestseller. His work has been chronicled in the Washington Post, Forbes, CBS, and other leading outlets. Ryan is a graduate of Princeton University and Stanford Business School. He comes to us from his place, Austin, Texas, where he resides with his family. Get ready. Over the next nine minutes, you'll discover why Ryan Frederick is one of the wisest people I know. Ryan Frederick, welcome to the Main Thing Podcast. Thanks for kicking off the new year 2022 with a little bit of wisdom sharing. Yeah, thanks for having me, Skip. Hey, your new book is out. Uh, Let's start there. That's very exciting. Is this your first book? First book? Yeah, it has been. uh, It's been an adventure, but it's been really exciting to see uh, the response and the impact on people. That's awesome. Congratulations on publishing a book. That's uh, no small accomplishment. Was it something that you'd wanted to do for a long time? Uh, just give us a little bit of background there. What inspired you to write it? How long you've been thinking about it, working on it? Yeah, no, for sure. I um, The master plan did not involve writing a book yet. When I was growing up, I was much better at math and science. In fact, I remember taking the PSAT and it suggested my English was, uh, was English as a second language learner, ESL. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this was not part of early plan, studied engineering to avoid reading and writing. But, you know, my, my real passion, Skip, is around um, helping people think about how to plan for a successful, healthy, financially secure life and the role of place in that. Great title, by the way. Yeah. Right place, right time. Uh, That's the short version of the title. Love that. Uh, I'll put a link to your book in our show notes and I'll drop it into our curated collection library on bookshop.org where listeners uh, know they can get each of the books written by our guests or books that are mentioned or recommended by folks like you. So that'll be there for our listeners. Let's help our listeners understand, Ryan, how you and I know one another. Would you like to start that story and I'll be happy to chime in with a uh, color commentary. Yeah, sure. So uh, a, a good friend of mine, um, a woman I've known for, and it, it's north of 15 years, feels like it's approaching 20 years, uh, Jacqueline Kong, who is uh, uber talented. And and she is um, has a similar focus around how can we uh, create better environments for people to thrive over a longer life. And 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 so we we connected when she was a graduate student uh, in business school, and we've stayed in touch over the years. And and she certainly has imparted a lot of wisdom to me, and that's how uh, how we got connected. 
Oh, yeah. Super, super lady. Dr. Jacqueline Kung was our guest on episode 48 here on the Main Thing podcast. And uh, I so clearly remember uh, the wisdom lesson that she shared with us about aging. Ryan, let's get to the uh, pivotal moment here. The reason folks come is to get the answer to the following question. Ryan Frederick, what's the main thing you've learned so far in your lifetime? Skip, the main thing I've learned uh, in my lifetime is the importance of adaptability. Oh, wow. Recognizing that you change, our environments change, our world around us changes, and at, at, a, at a dizzying pace, an increasingly sure. dizzying pace. And so that means that whatever plans you might have had, whatever vision you might have, it's not that they're unimportant, but they need to be continually revisited to say, is this really the best, the best path for me? And, and, uh, I yeah. think that's always been important. You know, it's a bit of Darwinism, right? It's, uh, those that <laughs> adapt are the ones that survive. But I think in, in, I've seen it in my life and I'm anticipating that it's only going to accelerate in the world that we're going into. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the main thing for me. Awesome. Recognize the importance of adaptability. That's the first time we've heard that from any guest here, and we're into episode 61. So thank you for bringing that to uh, our collective wisdom conversation that's ongoing. And that's something I'm working on because I think my default DNA posture is that I hate change. It's hard for everyone, Skip. You know, and I think there is an element of change that is harder as, as we get older. Um, I think that uh, one of the things I talk about in the book is this idea of doing these like self-assessments on, on, your, on your life because- uh, when we have, when you look at the, the, the science around longevity, only about 30% of our longevity is linked to our DNA. Okay. It's much more about lifestyle choices in our environment. So are we, do we have purpose that's greater than ourselves? Are we socially connected? Are we physically mm. active? Are we financially well? And, and then do, are we connected to place? Is place the right thing? And when you look at those different elements, um, you've got a lot of change because we change <laughs> sometimes, you know, we see it uh, visually, um, yeah. but we change in a bunch of different ways and, and, and our, and our places change around us, like I mentioned. And so you have to ad adapt and, yeah. and if you don't adapt, then it's likely that you find yourself in, in not the perfect place. Ryan, I want to get your thoughts on something that I read about a lot and I've in my professional work sometimes study and 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 think about is uh, quality of life. What what are your thoughts on that phrase? Do you have purpose where yeah. that's larger than yourself and what you're doing? Like do you have a reason to get up in the morning to get you fired up? You know, are you socially connected? Which by the way is being it's uh, I know it's an often quoted statistic, but people that are chronically lonely have the health impact of having about 15 cigarettes a day. And we got to guard against that. We I mean, do. And especially for American men, it's uh, they're particularly at risk for a variety of different reasons. Yeah. Right. So, right. so you got, and then being physically active, you know, your environment, mm -hmm. I know for me, like, am I moving and, and, and uh, sleeping and, and, and eating as I generally ought to. And then, um, and then financially, well, I think it's part, that's part of quality of life too. Am sure, I, sure. am I living within my means within, uh, this longer, longer life? And, and then in that last piece is that, uh, the way I look at it is this, uh, uh, this connection to place. Am I in the right place for this to happen? And in, in of itself, you know, some people might, uh, love a house that they're in, but just find yeah. themselves isolated. And, right. and so that, you know, that has other elements. So I, I, I look at quality of life in this broader kind of well-being lens with those, those five components. How can we be super thoughtful that we are in the right place at the right time in life so that these other elements like the Blue Zones talks about as well, they talk about purpose, they talk about social connection, that those different elements can really happen. Yeah. And so I think we can be inspired. So you're taking an aspirational model and you're making it more, more practical and attainable. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Um, and in, in the book and soon on the Smart Living 360 website, we're going to have a, uh, uh, an assessment tool you can take, take about five minutes and just start to understand where are you in these five measures and then provide some recommendations. So where might there be a gap where you need a little nudge? Where oh, cool. are you looking great? Um, just because I think it's, again, it's helpful to know, am I in the right place at a given time? And if I'm not, then having, you know, the courage to make change. Oftentimes it doesn't mean that you're changing places, but it might mean that you're going to uh, maybe take that extra step to get more involved in your community 
or maybe, you know, see that friend of yours more often to have that coffee Mm -hmm. or go for a run or a walk. These things that that matter that particularly the pandemic kind of threw things in a bad way. It threw us off, of course, of our routine. The good news is big old tailspin. We, we tell spin now as we pick ourselves back up, we have an opportunity mm-hmm. for a reset. We do. Are we, what, what is the right way to orient, you know, our, our time and priorities? And I, I think that's, that's part of the opportunity. I mean, what a great time of year to be thinking about such things, right? January, 2022, we've got the whole calendar right there in front of us. We can have a different future. Now's the time, right? Now is the time. Ryan, your wisdom, recognize the importance of adaptability. I love that. Our audience of 500 and some subscribers are very, very focused on personal growth, self-improvement, fulfillment, those sorts of things. We would love to take that assessment. And if you need a pilot group or uh, you know some beta testers, my gosh, I couldn't think of a better group than the, uh, the listeners and subscribers of the Main Thing Podcast. Absolutely. We'll follow up on that as well. Awesome. Awesome. So listeners, you've got something to look forward to. I know how much uh, we all love assessments and things that help us see things differently and give us uh, fresh perspectives. Ryan, before I say goodbye, is there anything that you had hoped that we would touch on today? Uh, This is sort of open mic for you. Any message that you want to weave into this podcast that I didn't ask you about? I would just, you know, leave our listeners with the idea that place matters a lot. Make sure you are intentional and prioritize it and have the, the courage. Like we talked about earlier, if it does require some change, Uh, really lean into that uh, in in these different stages of life. Yeah, Ryan, I think that's awesome. And adaptability bridges that gap that you painted for us there. Being adaptable is the way to get from the one to the future state. That's right. Ryan, thank you so much for your wisdom and your time today. Your wisdom, recognize the importance of adaptability is something that I'm going to be working on this year, and I just can't thank you enough. Appreciate the opportunity to, to share wisdom together, Skip. My pleasure. Wow, nine minutes is up. That goes by incredibly fast, doesn't it? Time flies when you're hacking wisdom. I hope you're left wanting more. Sync up with us again next time on The Main Thing for nine more minutes of wisdom. Hi, it's Skip here. You've heard about our merchandise store for the Main Thing Podcast, and I want to tell you about our bookshop. It's an online, independent bookstore where you can find and order the books that were written, recommended, and discussed by guests of the Main Thing Podcast. Just check the show notes for a link that'll take you to bookshop.org slash shop slash the main thing. Buy some books, support independent local booksellers, and support the guests of the Mean Thing Podcast.